Hey there, ESL 1 and 2. So today I'm going to be teaching you all about the names of shapes and angles. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are called shapes. Okay, our first shape we're going to learn is called a rectangle. Rectangle. So a rectangle has four sides. One, two, three, four. This is called a square. Square. This shape is called a triangle. Triangle. And this is very close to the Spanish word. If you speak Spanish, the Spanish word is triangulo. triangulo. This is triangle. Circle. This is a circle. Okay, let's look at our next word here. Parallelogram, parallelogram. So if you look, these two lines are parallel to each other. So they never ever cross. We look here, these lines keep going forever. This is a parallelogram, parallelogram. This is a very long word. Hopefully you guys can remember how to spell it. I believe in you guys. Parallelogram. Okay, let's look at our next one. So when we look at a shape, we count, count is contar, it's sides. So this is a side. How many sides do you think this shape has? How many sides do you think this shape has? Oh, went too far. Back. All right. What about here? How many sides? How many sides do you see here in this triangle? Okay. This is called a line. It is also called a segment. So a segment is when it stops on both sides. These lines are called parallel lines, parallel lines. So they never cross parallel lines. These lines are called perpendicular, perpendicular. So try that with me, perpendicular. So they look like this and they cross, these cross. This line, is straight or recta, it is straight. And then this line is curved or cursiva, it's curved, curved line. Okay, now I want you to look at these shapes. What shape has no sides? Hmm, which shape has no sides? Write it in your Ed Puzzle, Ooh, over, here. over here, yep. Write in your Ed Puzzle, which shape has no sides? Okay, an angle is the measure where two sides meet. So right here, this is an angle, okay? This side and this side are meeting each other. Both of these line segments are meeting each other to make an angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. This little circle here is called degrees in English. An obtuse, obtuse, to make a big O, obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. So more than, if you're a Spanish speaker, is más que. So 120 degrees is obtuse. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So if you're a Spanish speaker, less than is menos que. So 20 degrees is an acute angle. Okay, so let's practice. So I want you to write the word in the Ed Puzzle, and I'm not going to give you any choices. You have to think about it. So what is this shape? What is it called? 
Okay, what is this shape? What is it called? What is this shape? Hmm, what is it called? Hmm, what is this shape? What do we call it? Okay, what is this angle? Okay, what is this angle? Hmm, what is it? What is this angle? Okay, how many sides is this shape? What do you think? How many sides? How many sides is this shape? Okay, that is our last question for today. Good job. You've learned shapes and angles. Yay. Bye, guys.